Welcome. This is the uh, Where Data Lives track. Um, we have the pleasure today of uh, having Esteban Martinez here uh, discussing um, hacking and protecting Oracle Database Vault. And with that, I'll turn over the mic to Esteban. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Esteban. And today I will be talking about hacking and protecting Oracle Database Vault. This is uh, an outline of this presentation. First, we will see an introduction to Oracle Database Vault. This is quite a new topic for uh, this kind of conferences, so I will be doing a, an introduction to see what is Oracle Database Vault, what changes does it introduce, and what are the elements of Database Vault. Then uh, we will go to the attacks that is the most important part of this presentation where I will show different attacks and some ways to protect from these attacks. First we will see the attacks that will give us uh, operating system access and we will see how this operating system access will uh, allow us to disable or to bypass a database vault in some way. Then we will see um, how it is possible to impersonate the Maxis user, that is the Oracle Database Vault owner user, the user with most privileges in Oracle Database Vault. Then we will see some uh, considerations for the Sys user and uh, how uh, we can compromise Database Vault exploiting uh, SQL injection vulnerabilities in the Sys schema. Then we will uh, do a qu quick uh, review of Oracle Native Database Auditing of the Sys user. I will show some uh, issues there. And finally we will see some additional protections measures to further secure the Oracle Database Vault and some conclusions. Well, first of all, um, it's important to note that Oracle Database Vault it is an add-on to Oracle Databases. It, uh, it's not installed by default. It's something that we install to an Oracle Database instance, uh, mainly to uh, bring some uh, additional security features. We will uh, describe this uh, later. The, there are different releases for uh, Oracle Database Vault that, the, and depending on what uh, Oracle Database version it is installed, it will be installed a different version of Oracle Database Vault. So we have uh, different releases of Oracle Database Vault for Oracle Database 9.9 release 2, 10 she release 2, and 11 she and 11 she release 2. This uh, research I did, uh, I based mainly with uh, Oracle Database Vault release 10.2 and 11.1. I try to highlight uh, whenever there are differences in, for the things I, I state here in, the, in this uh, research, when, whenever there are differences between the, the releases, but well, uh, there are probably some some missing. But uh, mainly, everything should be should be working for all releases except that is noticed. Well, what is what is uh, database vault intended to? It's mainly intended to prevent the high privileged users, including the application DBAs, for from accessing sensitive application data. This is uh, mainly uh, for uh, to apply to to apply for regulations such as Sarbanes Oxley or PCI that calls for strict separation of duty inside the database and to protect against the insider threat. This means that the database administrator doesn't have unlimited access to the 
data that is stored in the database. Well, what, what changes inside the database once we installed Database Vault? First of all, uh, there are some initialization parameters that are uh, changed to more secure values. Also, uh, some features are disabled, like the recycle bin feature. And some uh, privileges are removed from the standard uh, roles, the DBA role or execute catalog role, and roles like that that are uh, default roles provided by Oracle. Uh, have some uh, of the system privileges removed after we installed Database Vault. Also, the database auditing is uh, configured to include more actions and auditing uh, things like creation of procedures or functions, but the auditing is uh, not enabled by default. Also, there are some uh, architectural changes, like the move of the sysout dollar table. That is the table where it is stored all the audit trails for the native database auditing. It is uh, moved from the sys schema to the system schema. Well, all these changes uh, can be actually done by uh, the database administrator. They are just uh, configuration changes that uh, well need to to be done to in order to to secure further the, the database. But it actually doesn't provide any additional security feature. All, also, all all another changes that. Uh, are made when we install Database Vault are that the sys and system schemas, as well as other schemas uh, that are uh, provided by Database Vault, are protected. So even if we are a database administrator, we can't access these protected schemas. Also, there are some commands like uh, for account management, alter user, create user, that can't be uh, executed anymore by database administration. In fact, the, there is something that uh, Database Vault provides that is uh, a separation from the user account administration, the data security, and the database management resource. These three things must be uh, done by uh, different accounts, different uh, authorities. Well, all these changes uh, made some uh, tools and practices uh, doesn't work anymore. For example, when, if we want to install patches, we need to disable database vault. The, this uh, database vault can be disabled with operating system access. This uh, came from the Oracle database vault documentation. On Windows, we, we need to rename or delete a DLL file. And on Linux, we need to execute a couple of commands. There was there were other uh, changes in older releases of Database Vault. For example, the OS authentication to the database was disabled, and the login as SysDBA was blocked by default. This uh, rendered incompatible a lot of tools that require this kind of access, like Erman and Oracle Rack and some command line utilities. But there, there is a, a parameter in ORA PW tool that uh, allows to enable the sysdba access. So in these uh, older releases, the sys user can only uh, 
log into the database as sysoper. So it has no uh, rights to access uh, data in the database. Well, let's see now what are the elements that Oracle Database Vault provides to bring these additional security features. The most important concept probably is the, are the realms that are a functional grouping of database schemas and roles that uh, we want to secure. These, for example, uh, are related to accounting or to employees. And we can use the realms to control the use of system privileges. So even if we have a, a, a system privilege, for example, to select from all tables, like DBAs have, or to update any table, we won't be able to do that with uh, schemas that are protected by a realm, unless we are uh, a member of the realm. The, the other concept are the factors that uh, are named variables or attributes, such as uh, user location, IP addresses, or session user that uh, can be used for activities such as authorizing database accounts to connect so uh, we can use these factors to protect from application bypass or ad hoc access to the database. Then we have another uh, concept called the command rules that allows to control how users can uh, execute many of the SQL statements so we can uh, not allowed to execute certain SQL statements to some users. Then we have the rule sets that are an association of realms, common rules, factor segments, and secure application roles. These secure application roles are a special Oracle role that are enabled only uh, if with the evaluation of a rule set. Then we also have uh, two schemas that are installed with Oracle Database Vault. The most important one is DVCs, where uh, there are all the objects for Database Vault. There are table views, PLSQL packages. So for example, if we want to uh, create a realm or administer uh, database Vault, we use the PLSQL packages that uh, are in DVC's schema, or if we want to get information from Oracle Database Vault uh, execution, we uh, select from views in those schema, in this schema. So the, it is uh, secure, this schema, by a realm that is the Oracle Database Vault realm. So this realm protects for improper use of the system privileges and uh, only the database vault all owner uh, has permissions. So it is protected uh, from uh, other DBAs. Then we also have the DBF schema that contains uh, functions for factor so we have function to get the IP address or the database, the, where the, the, the connection came from, the host name, and information like that. There are uh, roles provided by Oracle Database Vault that uh, can be used to give the necessary aut aut authorization to, the, to administer or to use Database Vault we have the lot of, of roles, like TV owner, that is the, the most important role. It has uh, all the privileges needed to administer the Oracle Database Vault installation. 
we have some other 